What's up? Welcome to another installment here on The Fabulous. This is Daisy. Yes, I just call myself fabulous. <laughs> Why not, right? Say it with me. We are all fabulous. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have a fun show today because I have a special treat for you. Yes, I set a special treat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And here it goes. Voila. Look who I dragged <laughs> in. It's my boyfriend. Yay. <laughs> so we're gonna have a fun video today. This video is going to be called the top five likes and dislikes by my boyfriend. This is gonna serve you right because a lot of times us girls don't know what the hell a guy likes or doesn't like. So who better to call in than my BF to let us know, let us in on the real deal. Today I'm gonna give you guys five both like and dislike. So are you guys ready? Let's do it. All right, so stay right there and let's jump into this fun video because I could only grab them once a year. <laughs> First one, very important one it's too much eye makeup is that a like or a dislike that's a dislike why i say that because i've seen sometimes men and women both with that tremendous amount of makeup in their eye where you can't tell if it's makeup or black and blue <laughs> I'm not gonna defend that one because I've seen my fair share of that, but I've also seen black and blue makeup that does look beautiful, but there is a fine line. I agree with you. Seeing that we're on the eye makeup, I'm gonna go to a light. I like subtle makeup. For example, her, when she wears subtle makeup that brings her eyes up, I think that works beautiful and wonderful because you could actually, certain makeups, you could see her eye color, but certain makeups pops. So for me, if you're gonna wear too much eye makeup and you can't really see your features, then why don't you wear light makeup so where it enhances your features? No contest there. We all love natural makeup and we all love makeup that enhances our features. And I get exactly what you say. So I'll let him slide with that one because yeah, who doesn't like to look good and bring on our beautiful features? But this one is for the city dwellers who take the train. I dislike people putting on their makeup in the train. And it's not because of hygiene or because of people doing things in the train. I mean, people eat, people sleep, people cure out sex in the train. So you, you do have, you do have. What train is that? You do, you do everything in the train. But putting on makeup in the train, especially eye makeup, it is so dangerous and I I look at this, so maybe for the people who don't do it in the train, the do it does it in the cars. I do not appreciate that, like that, or, or support that one bit. Wow, I gotta say he surprised me on that one. That is a good, good, good tip. I'll give you a pat on the back for that one because that was an interesting one. I, I pat myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, note to self, don't do your makeup on the train because you only have two eyes and you don't want to lose one or both. Or in a car. Colors. So I like colors. I sometimes you might wear pink in the face or something, but it's not just the face I'm talking about. I'm talking about color with fashion. I like to see color. I am from South America and color is something I feel like a lot of people, especially in New York, don't embrace. No contest there again. I mean, who doesn't like colors? Colors make us happy, and we all look great with colors. I'm with a guy that likes colors. I'm a colorful person. It works. My biggest dislikes is those long, obstructively long nails. Ooh. I have seen people with nails. I'm painted. I don't know how to do it. It's even curly. Yeah. I don't know how they get their nails. <laughs> that long. So imagine the curly ones are the long ones. I cannot, yeah. I don't like them. All right, I gotta say I'm right there with him. Him talking about it just gives me the heebie-jeebies because I just think it looks gross, but that's my personal two cents there. And how do you even work with your hands? Like, okay. I gave him a thumbs up on that one. Okay. Let's check out with those nails. <laughs> I love sunglasses. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but at night, <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> Your sunglasses is dark like this and you're wearing it at night, man. I am serious. <laughs> you know, we've seen a lot of bars and in clubs and even on the streets. I mean, yeah, they might look cool in your head, but dude, it's like, it's dark. Sunglasses is meant to keep out the sun, it's not meant to keep out the dark. But I mean, come on, man, sunglasses at night, please. I think that's one of those things I'm totally against. I get exactly what he's saying. We've gotten out enough times here in New York City in the, in the nightlife where we see people sporting sunglasses and there's no sun in the night. So I don't get that concept either. That is so early 2000. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta say, my babe got some nice top five likes and dislikes in this category. By the way, people, she didn't know what I was gonna come up with. Right? Yeah, I wasn't gonna let him slide. I was gonna defend our rights as girls. Give me a thumbs up, cause you know I got your back. I hope you guys had a blast with us. Let us know by liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my awesome channel, Hit It Fit. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have some questions you want us to bring forth in, an, in another video, we could do more videos like this. Leave the questions below. Don't forget to share the video and please come back. Bye. Yeah.